greetings to all in this video let's continue with binary symmetrical channel in the previous video we discussed about binary communication channel so here we are going to see about binary symmetric channel okay bsc from the name itself we see the word binary that means it has two okay binary means two so it has two inputs and two outputs x not x1 are the two inputs and y not y1 are the two outputs right so symmetric then we see a word called symmetric right so what do you mean by uh, symmetric symmetric means same so what you infer here is like you can see the graph here so the probability of p of y not by x not and the probability of p of y1 by x1 should be equal to same so this probability and this probability should be equal to same therefore you can call it symmetry or the diagonal probability okay probability of y1 by x not and probability of y not by x1 this both probability should be should be same here it is 1 minus p that's why we call as symmetrical channel okay so the binary communication can can set to be symmetric if probability of y not by x not is equal to probability of y one by x one here which is equal to which is equal to p. Okay. So how will you write the transition matrix? So we all know that for writing the transition matrix. So we saw here previously just two inputs. So we have y one x one, y two x two, y two x one, and y one x two and y2 y1 okay so now coming back to the this thing okay the what is p of x1 y1 here it is okay x0 y0 so it is equal to p okay then we have probability of y1 x0 y1 x naught which is equal to 1 minus p right then we have this probability p of y1 x2 y1 x2 here it is x naught x1 so it is y naught x1 okay y naught x1 okay this probability is equal to 1 minus p and then we have y1 x1 which uh, y1 x1 is equal to this probability so this is our transition probability matrix okay so if you want to find p of y p of y naught as we saw in the previous case it is just multiplication you can, you can also multiply this matrix or you can also p of probability of y naught should will be equal to probability of x naught into this probability plus probability of x1 into this probability right you can also get the same uh, value from this matrix multiplication also the probability of y1 will be equal to okay p of x naught into probability of y1 x naught plus x1 into probability of y1 x1 okay so this is how we define binary symmetrical channel then we will discuss about binary erasure channel bec okay basically in the previous two case we saw we had two inputs and two outputs okay here in binary erasure channel we define saying that we have two inputs and three outputs that is your input can be zero and output can be one okay that is one k first case your Sorry, this, sorry, the first case is your input is 0 and output is 0. That is case number 1. Second case is input is uh, 1, output is 1. That can be one case. And another case, so the case is if you give input 0, you will get some other error value. And if you, or if you give input 1, you will get some other error value. That is what you can see in the graph. <coughs> there is two inputs, okay. x1 and x2 and three outputs. y1, y2, y3. So, if input is if x1 is 0 <coughs> then getting y1 equal to 0 and the probability is p1 and 
where the input is x2 equal to 1 and y3 equal to 1 and the probability is p and if you are not getting 1 for x2 equal to 1 and we are not getting 0 for x1 equal to 0 then we will call this error which happens in output y2 and this probability is nothing but 1 minus p ok so since you have 2 inputs and 3 outputs so the channel uh, the channel matrix ok will be defined by like probability of y1 by x1 y2 by x1 and y3 by since you have y3 also y3 by x1 then you have y1 by x2 y2 by x2 and y3 by x2 ok let's uh, get back to the uh, to the slide so <coughs> first one is the first if you, if you want to define its channel matrix probability of y1 by x1 ok what is y1 by x1 it is p <coughs> let's say c is p then y 2 by x1. What is y2 by x1? y2 by x1 is 1 minus p. So we will take 1 minus p as q. That is why it can be taken as q. Okay. Then we have y3 by x1. So from this graph what is y3 by x1? There is no connection. Right? You can see no connection. That is why we put as 0. Okay. <coughs> then we have y1 by x2. What is y1 by x2? There is no connection. We will have as 0. What is y2 by x2? Okay, y2 by x2 is 1 minus p. Here we said 1 minus p is q. Then if you have y3 by x3, which is nothing but x2, which is nothing but p. Okay, so this is the channel matrix for binary erasure channel. Then we'll, okay, this is what you can see the same thing here. Then we'll see about lossless channel. Okay. A channel matrix with only one non-zero element in each row, sorry, in each column is called lossless channel. Okay. So here you will see a graph which has you know three inputs and five outputs. Okay, these are this probability matrix. Okay. So if it has three inputs and five outputs, you have probability of y1 by x1, y2 by x1, y2, y3 by x1, y4 by x1 y5 by x1 ok then we have y1 by x2 y2 by x2 y3 by x2 y4 by x1 y5 by x2 again here y1 by x3 y2 by x3 y3 by x3 y4 by x3 y5 this is this contributes the channel matrix ok so we just plot if we just plot the values and for uh, wherever there is uh, no connection we put 0 if you see and if you just see each column okay if you see the first column it has only one answer line. if it's second column it has only one answer third column again so we call this as a lossless channel since we find only one non-zero element in each column of the matrix of the channel matrix that's why we call this lossless channel last one is deterministic channel a channel matrix with only one non-zero element in each row is called deterministic channel Okay, here we will see the example with you know 5 inputs and 5 outputs and if you just you know plot the uh, probability in the channel matrix and if you just see each row you can find only one non-zero element that's why you call this to be an instrument example. Okay, so in this video we saw what is a binary symmetrical channel. So we said when binary symmetric channel, this probability and this probability will be same and the diagonal probability will be same or the diagonal probability will be same. Okay. Then we saw what is a binary inertia channel, okay, it has two inputs and three outputs. Then we saw what is lossless channel and what is deterministic channel. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.